And for the optimizer, cardinality is everything. One of the things you'll hear from most Oracle practitioners is that the use of hints in your SQL statements is generally something that you want to avoid. The less hints, the better. I've often said the optimal number of hints in an application is zero, but in reality, sometimes hints are a part of application life. You can't have an optimizer that is perfect for every single scenario because that would mean having an infinite number of statistics to satisfy every possible query your application could ever run. That is obviously impossible. So hints are, let's call them a necessary evil. However, some hints are better than others. And one particular hint, which I think should be part of every single developer's toolkit is the gather plan statistics hint. To understand why this hint is so cool, we have to understand the optimizer. And for the optimizer, cardinality is everything. And it's the same with humans. Let me give you a simple metaphor here. If I pop down the shop and I'm just grabbing a few things, throw them in a basket, when I come to leave, I don't simply walk to the first checkout line. What I do is I scan along the checkout lines looking for the one that probably has is either empty or has the least number of people. In this particular case, I might see that checkout number five is the best one and I'll scoot down there because there was only one person there with a trolley. But when I get there, sometimes that person has the trolley from hell. Yes, the trolley looked empty, but they had 10,000 little small items in there. And all of a sudden I know I'm in for a long and arduous wait. This scenario is when what I estimated to be the case, aisle five is the best aisle, didn't match the reality. When I got down there, there was someone there with a nasty trolley. The optimizer is the same. When the estimated workload for each particular step doesn't match the reality of the workload that's required, that's when you normally have bad execution plans. When those two do match up, that's when you normally have an excellent execution plan. Here's an example. I'm doing a count star from a table of vehicles, and I'm looking for the make and the model of a particular car. In this case, I'm looking for a Honda Civic. When I display the execution plan, it says I'm doing a table access full on the vehicle table. It estimates it's going to get 20,000 rows from this table. Table access full is like one of the checkout lines. It's the best one in the optimizer's opinion. The question is, do we know that for a fact? What we want to do is like our shopping center metaphor is work out the actual values versus the estimate. And we can do that with the gather plan statistics hint. I insert the gather plan statistics hint and I run my query and I can see the actual number of Honda Civics from my vehicles table is 114 thousand. It didn't match up the estimate of 20. Using the gather plan statistics hint lets me get a slightly alternate version of the execution plan once my query has run. You can see I've got two columns there, the estimated number of rows and the actual number of rows. If those two numbers throughout the plan generally match up, you can have a reasonable amount of confidence that the plan the optimizer came up with is the best plan that you could do. If the numbers are miles apart, like the example here, in terms of order of magnitude, then the likelihood is the optimizer has missed a potentially better plan. Obviously, taking that to the next step and then coming up with resolutions to come up with what plan should it use, what SQL tuning step should I take, is a much larger exercise. But whenever I'm doing any kind of SQL tuning for customers, for me, the first thing I'll ask them to do is to run the query if possible, with the gather plan statistics hint, gather the information and pass it back to us. That's gonna tell us straight away whether the optimizer is doing a good job or whether we need to explore other options such as changing statistics, adding indexes, etc. cetera.